Drivers are dealing with their first evening commute, trying to get around the I-465 closure on the south side. As you can tell, I-70 is moving pretty slowly with all that extra traffic from 465 tonight. And while this major project on the south side is just getting started, more construction projects are already in the works. Tonight, Mary Mills joins us live with some of the major improvements the city now is planning to take on. Mary? That's right, and you know the work taking place on 465, that's all INDOT, but the city actually has its own list of projects that need to be done, and now it has the money to get started on dozens of them. You don't have to drive far to run into road construction. Here on Keystone at 25th, crews are strip patching a piece of road that nearby residents say has been rough going for years. It's much needed. It's a lot, it's a lot of roads in Indianapolis that's much needed, you know, but they only can do certain parts at a time, so we have to be patient with them, and we have to be patient with ourselves. While the detours can be a hassle, Marion and others will soon see a jump in construction over the next four years. That's after the council approved plans to let the city borrow $120 million for major infrastructure improvements, projects that have to last longer than the lifespan of the bonds, which is at least 20 years or more. It allows us to do projects that um, we wouldn't get to uh, normally. Uh, a lot of bridge projects, a lot of fixing of concrete streets across the city, some of which haven't been touched in years. He says that 20 million will go toward new curbs and new sidewalks, adding ramps to make them ADA accessible. And several intersections known for a high rate of pedestrian crashes, like this one at 16th and Alabama, will be reconfigured to make them safer. Also on the list, widening the Monon Trail from 10th Street to 96th and adding a bridge where the Monon crosses 38th Street. It's a good thing to have that stop part in the middle. But still, it's, all these crossings are bad because even though there's a pedestrian crossing, people, some people, cars will stop on one side, but then they won't stop on the other side. So you really have to be careful. While that $120 million is far less than the $750 million it would take to bring all city streets up to fair condition, Parker says every bit helps. We do need a, a lot more, but we're going to be able to eat into a lot of our bridge needs. Uh, we're going to be able to touch a lot of major thoroughfares with resurfacing uh, that we just wouldn't have been able to uh, without the bond. And he says those bonds are backed by revenue from several taxes, including the increase in the gasoline tax. He says the first of those projects will get underway after the first of the year. John. All right. Thank you, Mary Mills. On the